Creating a basic my block is great if you just want to have a small bit of code that repeats itself or you can use elsewhere in multiple programs. What would you do if you wanted to have a small variation on that code in different programs, such as displaying a specified number on the screen? You wouldn't want to have to create a my block for every number you'd want to specify that in a configuration panel. But how do you do that in a my block? We will find out in this video. First, we'll start off by making our basic display a number program. So we pull off our number to text converter and the display block. Wire the text to the text and center the output. Okay, so this is our basic display a number program. To specify what number needs to be displayed, we need to get a block that has a number output. So we can come over to the data panel and get a math block and drop that out. It doesn't really matter what type of block as long as it has a number output. And we'll wire that into the number to text converter. Now we highlight the converter and the display block and say create new my block. And we can rename this block display num. Displays a user specified number. And you can see here on the selected blocks panel of the my block builder that the math block is not displayed, but there's this little data port that is displayed and it's just labeled number. This will be a setting in the configuration panel or in the my blocks data hub so you can specify what number is to be displayed. We'll create an icon and finish. So now we have our my block display number. Come over here display number. You can have multiple instances of it and you can specify what number to be displayed. So that would be how you would make a my block that can have customizable parameters.